हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आशु जैन फ्रॉम विद्युलाई एस अकेडमी शामली वेलकम ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ विद्युलाई एस अकेडमी शामली टुडे आई प्रेजेंट अ टॉपिक ऑन बायोलॉजी लाइफ प्रोसेस पार्ट वन प्लीज इट्स अ रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल प्रेस द बेलाइकन लाइक एंड शेयर द वीडियो नाउ वी स्टार्ट द टॉपिक विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी सिंगल मोमेंट थैंक यू that all the organisms perform some basic functions to keep themselves alive do you know what are life processes yes the basic functions performed by living organisms to maintain their life on this earth are called life processes since living organisms perform various functions to maintain their life to perform these functions energy is required they get this energy from outside the body in form of food objectives at the end of this lesson you'll be able to define life processes identify types of life processes understand the nutrition understand autotrophic nutrition understand heterotrophic nutrition find the types of heterotrophic nutrition understand types of heterotrophic nutrition understand nutrition in plants understand process of photosynthesis find out how do plants obtain carbon dioxide and water and understand significance of photosynthesis types of life processes there are following basic life processes movement respiration sensitivity growth reproduction excretion nutrition transportation during movement organism either moves from one place to other or move its body parts while staying fixed at one place while respiration is the process which releases energy from food absorbed by the body sensitivity is the ability to detect the changes in the surroundings we can define growth as change from child to adult organisms produce new organisms similar to it by the process of reproduction excretion is the process in which waste materials are removed from the body the process of nutrition involves the taking of food inside the body and converting it into smaller molecules which can be absorbed by the body transportation is the process in which a substance absorbed or made in one part of body are moved to another parts of the body nutrition as we have discussed earlier that all living organisms perform various functions to maintain their life to perform these functions energy is required they get this energy from outside the body in form of food the process of taking in food and utilizing it is called nutrition food is an organic substance the simplest food is glucose while complex food is starch starch and glucose in combined form are known as carbohydrates when we require instant energy then we should take carbohydrates In addition to carbohydrates, food should also contain fats, protein, mineral salts, vitamins and water because they all are essential for normal growth and development of an organism. Modes of nutrition. Procuring food by an organism is known as mode of nutrition. The general requirement for energy and materials is common to all, but it is fulfilled in different ways. so every organism has different mode of nutrition broadly organisms are divided into two groups according to method of obtaining food autotrophic heterotrophic autotrophic nutrition auto means self and trophic means nutrition so it literally means self nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition is that mode of nutrition 
in which an organism makes its own food from the simple inorganic materials like carbon dioxide and water present in the surroundings. The green plants have an autotrophic mode of nutrition. The autotrophic cyanobacteria also obtain their food by the autotrophic mode of nutrition. So we can say that those organisms which can make their own food from carbon dioxide and water are called autotrophs. The autotrophic organisms contain the green pigment called chlorophyll which is capable of trapping sunlight solar energy. The trapped solar energy is utilized by the autotrophs to make food by combining CO2 and water by the process of photosynthesis and as a result glucose is formed. Here is the reaction of photosynthesis. Heterotrophic nutrition. Hetero other trophic nutrition. So it literally means nutrition obtained from others. A heterotrophic mode of nutrition is that mode of nutrition in which organism cannot make its own food from the simple inorganic materials like carbon dioxide and water and depends upon other organisms for its food. Most bacteria, fungi and all the animals have a heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Those organisms which cannot make their own food from inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water and depend on other organisms for their food are called heterotrophs. A heterotroph is a consumer which gets its nutrition from other organisms. That is, heterotrophs depend on autotrophs and other heterotrophs for their food. Types of heterotrophic nutrition Heterotrophs get their food in three ways. Saprophytic, parasitic, holozoic. Sapro means rotten and phytic means nutrition. Saprophytic nutrition is that in which an organism obtains food from decaying organic matter of dead plants, dead animals and rotten bread. That is, fungi and many bacteria are saprophytes. Para, which means besides, cetose means grain food. Parasitic is an organism that grows, feeds and is sheltered on or in a different organism while contributing nothing to the survival of its host. That is, plasmodium, cuscata, tapeworm, etc. Holo, feeding on solids, and zoic, zoon, means animals. Holozoic nutrition is ingesting and using complex organic material as food as most animals do. That is man, dog, cattle, amoeba. Nutrition in plants. As we have already discussed that green plants are autotrophic and synthesize their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means to build. Thus photosynthesis means building up food with help of light. Photosynthesis is the process used by all green plants, blue-green algae, cyanophyta and certain bacteria. It is the synthesis of organic compounds, primarily sugars from carbon dioxide and water, using sunlight as the source of energy, and chlorophyll for tracking the light energy. Photosynthesis can be summarized by this equation. The photosynthetic process has been shown to be divided into two major phases. Light stage, light-dependent reactions, represents conversion of radiant energy to chemical energy in the form of ATP. Dark stage, light independent reactions, represents the enzymatic synthesis of carbohydrate immediates and other compounds by the utilization of the ATP produced during the light stage. The process of photosynthesis takes place in the following three types. Absorption of sunlight energy by chlorophyll. 
conversion of sunlight energy into chemical energy, splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen by light energy, reduction of CO2 by hydrogen to form carbohydrate like glucose by utilizing the chemical energy, intake of carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere, green plants take CO2 from air with the help of tiny pores present on the surface of leaves. These tiny pores are known as stomata. Carbon dioxide enters the leaves of the plants through the stomata. Each tomato pore is surrounded by a pair of guard cells. The opening and closing of stomato pores is controlled by these guard cells. When water flows in the guard cells, they swell, become curved, and cause the pore to open. On the other hand, when guard cells lose water, the shrink becomes straight and close this tomato pore. As the pore opens, atmospheric carbon dioxide enters the pore. Intake of water. The water required by the plants for photosynthesis is absorbed by the roots of the plants from the soil through the process of osmosis. The water absorbed by the roots of the plants is transported upward through xylem vessels to the leaves whereas it reaches the photosynthetic cells and is utilized in photosynthesis. Significance of Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is important for a number of reasons. Few of them are main. By photosynthesis Green plants synthesize food from single raw materials like CO2 and H2O. Thus, it sustains life on Earth. Oxygen is released during the process of photosynthesis, is needed by animals and human beings. It is also required for respiration of microbes. Oxygen also supports combustion of fuels. Fossils fuels like coal, Oil and natural gas are forms of stored solar energy synthesized by photosynthesis millions of years ago. Did you know? ATP is energy currency. Leaves are green because they fail to absorb green light of visible spectrum which is reflected. Blue and red light are best for photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. Light dependent reactions take place in thylakoids of chloroplasts. The site of carbon dioxide fixation is grana of chloroplasts. Light is emitted in packets of energy known as photons. The splitting of water is known as photolysis. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Living organisms require oxygen, water and food in every cell of their various tissues to sustain life. The various processes essential for maintenance of life are called life processes. The main life processes are movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion, nutrition and transportation. Energy is continuously required by living organisms to carry out various life processes. This energy is liberated due to intake as well as utilization of nutrients and also by respiration of an organism. Organisms can be divided into two types on the basis of mode of nutrition, autotrophic and heterotrophic. Autotrophic nutrition involves the intake of simple inorganic materials from the environment and using an external energy source like the sun to synthesize complex high energy organic material. Heterotrophic nutrition involves the intake of complex material prepared by other organisms. Yes friends, you get an interesting topic life process part one so it's again a request to subscribe the channel like the channel and share right this is also useful the cbsc board 10th class students as well as it is useful for the competitive exam gs section science 
so friends please comment if you required next part like the video share the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon thank you thank you very much